And Congressman, I just want to ask you right off the bat, did Arizona open too quickly? No, and, and you know you know how I feel about this, James, and I've said this from the very beginning that that uh, there were other models out there we should have followed where you we knew who the most vulnerable were. We could have isolated, protected, tested, uh, and, and, and helped those folks out. But we created a second uh, public health crisis that's a little bit more silent because it's overshadowed because we didn't stay open. We should have stayed open with, uh, with some you know, reasonable uh, guidance to the public. Reasonable guidance to the public, and I guess what we're talking about when we're talking about guidance, we're talking about protecting the most vulnerable among us, which would have been uh, the elder population and those with underlying yeah. health issues. Um, and it, it's, it's funny you say that, Congressman Biggs, because even with the guidelines that we're getting right now, that is not being addressed. I mean, <laughs> we're really still not taking care of the old folks and people with underlying health issues, that's not where, where, where states are concentrating. No, that's right. So when you say we're going to shut down bars and, and gyms and, and water parks, what you're doing is you're saying the people who um, have the least susceptibility to very serious outcomes from COVID, we're going to prohibit you from, from uh, your activities and the businesses that support those activities that the public wants to go to. We're gonna say no to you. Um, and what we're, we're, we're still not addressing fully uh, the, the most vulnerable, as you say. And, and, and that's a real problem. Uh, and, and it's not just unique to Arizona. Uh, it, you're seeing it throughout the country. Okay, so it's not just unique to Arizona. We're seeing it across the country, which means to me that this is planned and coordinated. We don't have any states doing th things that are wildly different. Or I should say the ones who never close, they're not being talked about. But the ones that have opened, they're being lambasted. And as you just said, this seems to be happening across the country. So, Congressman, what are we watching here? Well, you're watching a co uh, coordinated effort in the sense of, of, of bashing red states. This is a part of uh, uh, the left's mantra to, to punish um, those who believe in free markets, those who believe in freedom. Because, I mean, if you look at the numbers, uh, and, and by the way, you can cherry pick any number you want, but you have to put everything in context. But when you just begin looking at the numbers and you say, okay, Arizona, we're at, we have uh, – uh, you know, 88% occupancy rate of, of ICU units. Okay, that sounds pretty full, except you still have 12% headroom, plus you have additional surge uh, beds that are prepared. And then you move down and you say, well, but, but how many of those are actually COVID cases that are driving that? Well, just a little over half of those beds are COVID beds. So you, you have to look at this and say, well, what, what is moving this? And, and you're not seeing people in California, uh, Newsom's not getting bashed from the mainstream or the left stream media there. He's, he's getting bashed from, the, from those of us who look at him and say, what are you doing to California? You're emasculating and, and driving people out again. That's what he's doing. It's the red states that are getting bashed by CNN, MSNBC, uh, their commentators, et cetera. It's a red state that are being bashed, um, and, and it, yeah, I do believe that this is tied to the election. But something else you just said kind of kind of triggered me, Congressman Biggs, me and Congressman Andy Biggs in the center ring, and that is, you know, the numbers: how many people are in the hospital beds, how many ventilators are being used. Someone contacted me or reached out to me and said, "Hey, where can we find real numbers?" And I directed them straight to your Twitter account. Because you post these numbers and your Facebook account as well. You post these numbers and then you give an explanation that is completely contrary to what our, our elected officials are telling us. Why is it that you can do that? And why is it you have not been canceled yet on these uh, social platforms that are monitoring all this stuff? How come you see things so differently than what we're being told? Well, because I'm looking at, I'm, I'm actually using their numbers. And I can do some simple math so I can get in there and say, well, what's, what, do, what do we look like? And we plug these numbers into a spreadsheet and we, we say, well, what, what do we look like? Well, three and a half weeks ago, um, our hospitalization rate was 11.5%. And as we've watched um, before the, the, the slowdown again uh, by, by, by the 
that the governor imposed, we were already declining in the hospital rate. We also you can go back and look at the number of tests being administered, and you're going to see uh, uh, correspondingly uh, just what we would expect to see. Numbers higher, numbers higher in the actual raw numbers, but the ratio that is, it is what is so important here. And then we can also look right on the website. I mean, you can go right there and say, well, where, where are the hotspots? The hotspots are Yuma County, Santa Cruz County, Navajo and Apache County. Navajo and Apache is always good. So why Yuma and why Santa Cruz? How about uh, stories that have kind of uh, surreptitiously leaked out of CNN talking about the number of cross-border transmissions through the two busiest ports of entry in Arizona? There's a lot to look at here, and when you put it in context, you can see the picture far more clearly than just cherry picking a, a number like, oh man, we're up to, we had uh, 3,000 people, uh, new, new cases yesterday. Oh, by the way, um, you, you, you uh, brought people in to the hospital, but you released 450 yesterday, that I'm type of thing. Another very important number that doesn't uh, ever get reported. How many people were released from the hospitals of that day? If you want to you know, follow an alternative view of the numbers, or the same numbers, as Congressman Big said, but get different results, go to his Facebook page, go to his Twitter account, because I'm telling you, they post these things and you're like shaking your head. And you're like, what in the world is going on? Yeah, the hot spots. We, we look at the hotspots. They're on the border and they're on reservations. But they're not downtown Tempe and it's not downtown Scottsdale. And yet, you've got the governor closing hot, what he considers hot spots, well, hot night spots. It doesn't make 